yes dear learners i am christina georgi your academy counselor for the course code begc 105 which is titled american literature in our previous session we discussed block 3 of the course code begc 105 which deals with short stories so today we'll discuss unit 2 of this particular blog which deals with a short story titled after 20 years so have you ever heard of this particular short story i suppose you haven't so this is a short story written by o henry all right so who was o henry you must have heard of this name is so first and foremost a brief overview regarding the writer of this particular short story his name is o henry remember this is his pen name what do you mean by pen name you must have heard of pseudonyms right yes it is a false name used by a writer so here william sydney porter is the name of this particular writer o henry is William Sidney Porter's pen name or we say pseudonym so keep that in your mind and as we are studying american literature it is quite obvious that he is an american writer and he is well renowned for his short stories even though he also wrote pieces of poems and non fiction writings too so let's discuss some of the most renowned works of o henry one very commonly discussed work is titled the gift of the magi or the gift of the magi yes so this has been prescribed across the universities and schools in india i'm not sure whether you people have studied at least you must have heard of this particular short story there are other works such as the duplicity of her griefs then the ransom of red chief etc so if you think of the very first book by o henry it is titled cabbages and kings it is published in the year 1904 that is 1904 you must remember that it is a series of short stories if i remember it right there are 19 stories it is a collection and it deals with his experiences in texas remember he is an american writer so these are the basics that you need to remember and another piece of information this particular work titled after 20 years was published for the first time in an anthology by him do you know the title of this anthology it is titled the 4 million and it is published in the year 1906 1906 and i suppose there are 25 uh, stories in this collection yes after 20 years is published in his anthology titled the 4 million which was published in the year 1906 you must remember that also now If we look at the characteristic features of O Henry's works we can see that most of his stories especially the sh- stories are mostly based on people in New York city apart from that he has got a good sense of humor and most of his stories are full of surprises and the unexpected endings of his short stories are mostly renowned most of his stories have got these unexpected endings all right so in this particular work also that is the work in consideration after 20 years this short story also has some of these features so d- let's discuss those one by one all right now If you look at your study material I am referring to the official study material there 
on page number 109 as part of section 2.2 they provided you the text of after 20 years basically the short story which is given in your textbook so i would recommend you to have a detailed reading of this story it's just 2.5 pages long and it's very much easy to read and understand for your better understanding right now we'll discuss the plot of this short story so first and foremost i'd like to clarify something do you know what a plot means what do you mean by the plot of a story the plot it is basically the sequence of events that shape a broader narrative yes correct to some extent we can also say that it is a series of causes and events which shape the story as a whole okay while discussing the plot we'll understand the development of the story what's happening in the story or we can say we get the essence of the story so in this particular story remember this is a story this is a short story and there are two main characters discussed here even though there is another third character there are two main characters discussed here their names are jimmy and bob basically these two are friends okay or i should say these two were friends and they were brought up together in new york but they got separated eventually why did they get separated it was because one day one of them named bob decided to go to the west to make a fortune he went in search of better opportunity to gain more money so the day before he left the previous day the two of them made an agreement that is they decided that both of them will meet at 10 o'clock at night in a restaurant called big joe 20 years later i hope you understood the day before they got separated they decided that they'll meet again at the same time same place at 10 o'clock at night at a restaurant called big joe 20 years later that is what they agreed upon so they decided that they would meet at the same place exactly 20 years from that day and time no matter whatever may the circumstance be all right yes so the story begins when bob after 20 years came to the same place but now things have changed and this big joe restaurant is no more there instead of that restaurant they see another store and he meets a policeman okay so basically he was expecting his friend jimmy his name is jimmy wells so basically bob was expecting jimmy wells but instead of jimmy wells what he saw is that he saw a policeman on his beat and then bob informed this man that he's there because he had an appointment made 20 years before so as the story progresses while talking to the policeman bob mentions how he had become rich that he had went to the west and he is now well off and he also wondered whether jimmy did half as well he was of the opinion whether his friend would have been successful also is very curious he is not sure of that because for the past 20 years they weren't in close contact then the policeman just um, passed by and after some time jimmy was there waiting for another 20 minutes for whom for jimmy wells his friend so as he was waiting he noticed a tall man in an overcoat who was moving towards bob and then to his surprise this tall man to told bob that he is jimmy so that made bob happy why because he was so happy to meet his old friend but what happens is that as they were walking they passed by a drug store and 
it is said that in the glare of electric lights bob found that this tall man was not jimmy from the facial features he could identify that this person that came and told he was jimmy was not actually jimmy now comes the suspense aspect the story reaches a climax or we can say a point of revelation where this person revealed his identity this person told that he is a policeman and informed both that he was there to arrest bob now we will be wondering why is this policeman here to arrest bob it is because we come to know that this bob turned out to be a gangster who was wanted by the chicago police i hope you understood the situation this bob who went in search of fortune 20 years back later became a gangster and he is searched by or he is wanted by the police and this man is here in order to arrest the suspense doesn't end here this revelation is followed by another revelation what is that you must be wondering if this person is not jimmy how will he know about jimmy right yes there comes the suspense aspect that bob receives a little piece of paper handed over to him by this policeman and it is from that paper that bob understands that the first person that he saw the first policeman that he saw was actually jimmy are you able to follow me you remember the first person that he met patrolling the policeman yes that person was actually jimmy and he was there waiting for bob but do you know what happened gradually at some point of time that policeman jimmy wells recognized his old friend bob was none other none other than the gangster who's wanted by the chicago police and he might have been in a dilemma and later he didn't have the heart to arrest him and because of that he sent another policeman to arrest this person is the story clear so we have discussed the plot now you must have understood that this particular story includes a lot of action that is so many words which denote action are used throughout the story and this in a way gives the dramatic quality to the story furthermore suspense also play plays a crucial role so to discuss this aspect further there are instances in the story where we see this aspect of suspense firstly we meet the person the petrol man right waiting at a hardware store this hardware store is at the same location as the restaurant named big joe which was there 20 years ago so there is a bit of suspense elements there why is this person patrolling there so this makes the reader go through that portion anxiously to know the outcome of the meeting secondly this suspense is sustained how is that done it is done by not revealing the outcome of the meeting so bob as well as the readers have to wait for jimmy to arrive jimmy according to bob hasn't arrived at same is the case with we the readers too we never knew the other person was jimmy right yes then also there came a tall man but then again we were not informed that he is jimmy the description was given a tall man in a long overcoat approached and addressed bob so then he said he is jimmy but the announcement was not done immediately suspense is sustained and bob's expression of doubt is also notable bob was quite curious whether this was jimmy or not and finally he understood that this is not jimmy now the suspense is 
heightened or enhanced why is that so it is because bob comes to know that the tall man is not jimmy so now comes the question who is the person who said that he is jimmy that is who is the impersonator the person who pretended to be jimmy and where is jimmy where is jimmy is also another crucial question moreover we come to know that bob is also a gangster and he has a very criminal background all right finally the suspense is broken when we come to understand that uh, jimmy was the first person that we met and now this person is the policeman who has come to arrest bob and that bob is a criminal who is wanted by the police at the moment so right now we'll focus on the characters in this particular short story so before that let me ask you what do you mean by a character a character can be a person it could be an animal it could be any creature or a thing so we can say that a character is a person animal creature or a thing in a story so why do you think the writer makes use of these characters of course they serve a significant role in the development of the story yes so we can say the characters are used to perform the action speak the dialogue and also to move the story along a plot line very often in every story we'll be having a major character and a minor character there will be major characters that is one or more major characters and one or more minor characters so now comes the question what do you mean by a major character and how is a major character different from a minor character so i'll help you out a major character is a figure at the center of the stories action or theme very often the story would revolve around this major character it could be one or more characters if it is a central single character we call him or her a protagonist protagonist that is the name that very often we make use of um then there are also minor characters these characters will not be as important as the major characters in the particular story so here in this particular short story after 20 years by o henry we have two major characters can you name them who are the two major characters in this particular short story yes yes wonderful good so i would suggest you to write jimmy wells write the full name okay so the emphasis in the particular short story is more on action than on characters we already discussed that aspect so right now we'll focus our attention towards the two main characters namely jimmy wells and bob remember there is also a minor character in the story who is that minor character remember that tall man in the long overcoat who finally comes and arrests bob yes he is the minor character in this short story so shall we look at the character sketch of jimmy wells yes correct the minor character is the policeman correct okay let's move on to jimmy wells so at the very beginning of the story the author who's the author o henry he introduces jimmy wells so who is jimmy wells he is a policeman and they said that he has an impressive walk the way he walks is quite impressive then we come to know that he has stalwart form and slight swagger and he looks like the picture of a guardian of the peace 
so it is indeed the description of a very impressive policeman that we get while we read about jimmy wells so moreover we get information regarding jimmy wells from yet another important character a major character in the short story who is that bob bob also speaks about his friend jimmy according to bob jimmy is the finest chap in the world that is the best friend and he is always the truest staunchest chap in the world according to bob he is the best friend the most genuine friend one could ever have the irony is that bob is speaking this to the policeman without having the knowledge that he is actually speaking about jimmy himself to in the text we see that these lines are spoken by bob and the listener is the policeman later we understand that it was jimmy who actually listened and in a way we can see we can say that these words must have triggered feelings in jimmy imagine jimmy he is a policeman and he finds that his friend has turned out to be the biggest criminal that they have been searching for and this friend the criminal is still praising jimmy without having the knowledge that he is speaking to jimmy then jimmy would have had a difficult you know emotion right at one hand he is his friend bob is his friend at another hand it is a criminal who is standing before him and he is a very truthful policeman yes good and very glad that you followed me so jimmy's character is more or less revealed through action we understand that jimmy is very true to bob's trust and he is a close friend why do we feel so it's because jimmy remembered about the appointment and he came to the same place at the same time so it means that jimmy not only remembers the appointment but also keep this friendship with bob quite alive even after the gap of 20 years there is also another incident that reveals jimmy's affection for bob it is when he recognizes that bob is actually the man they have been searching for the criminal they have been searching for and he didn't arrest bob himself instead he made someone else do the job it is because of his friendship there also we must observe the fact that he didn't fail his duty as a policeman he did perform his duty as a policeman even if the criminal was the close friend of his is that clear so we can say that the author o henry reveals the character of jimmy through description dialogue and incident okay this is how the character has been developed and portrayed in this short story shall we discuss bob yes so this same technique of description dialogue and incident is employed by o henry with regard to bob as well so bob is also very much interested and enthusiastic about meeting his old friend he has come to the same place the same time and he is so very um, talkative about the friend and he is so very impressed with the friendship and then about his physical characteristics it is said that when bob lit the cigarette he lit up the cigarette and that light showed a pale squared jawed face so bob has a pale squared jawed face with keen eyes remember he also had a little white scar near the right eyebrow about his scarf pin it is said that there was a large diamond indicating that he belonged to a rich class or that he is quite affluent indicating his acquired affluence showing that he is wealthy at the moment 
moreover bob's words about himself are also crucial he says that he competed with some of the sharpest wits in the west and became rich that is what he speaks about himself even if he had a very successful life in the west despite the criminal background bob never forgot his friend jimmy and he came even though he might have known there is some amount of risk involved but still he came so there we see the positive side of his character what are the positive traits in him his belief in friendship his affection for his friend especially when he comes after 20 years to the appointed place so from here the moral that we understand is that every person has both positive as well as negative trait here yeah, the negative trait is that he has become a criminal he has become a gra- gangster he has turned out to be somebody who is in greed for money but the positive thing is that he still has that genuine feelings of friendship in him he still keeps his promise of meeting his friend even after 20 years so along with bob's loyalty as a friend we also find about his criminal record in the west that turns out to be the aspect of suspense towards the climax of this particular short story is that clear that the physical atmosphere is described as follows that is the time is 10 o'clock why is it 10 o'clock that was the time promised 20 years ago the place is the exact location where 20 years before there was a restaurant named big joe right now it is a hardware shop i believe yes then about the atmosphere it is said that it is very chilly and that there is a chance for a heavy rainfall too majority of the shops are closed owing to the dark atmosphere we can say that the story is set in this atmosphere indicating that it deals with policemen and criminals one another notable instance is that the patrolman jimmy meets bob in the doorway of a darkened hardware store remember the dark atmosphere so this in a way four tells us about the dark and hard nature of the person standing there a foreshadowing must have happened this interesting play of light and shadow light and shadow we come to realize the faces when there is light right and when they are in shadow we are not able to identify who that is exactly the same way this interesting play of light and shadow adds a symbolic dimension to the story we can say that 20 years ago there was light in the lives of both the friends in both bob's and jimmy's life there was light but right now after 20 years light is missing in bob's life why is that so he has turned out to be a criminal and we can say that he has strayed into the shadowy world of crime yes very good glad that you answered moreover there is this nostalgic yearning that we see in bob he has been waiting to meet jimmy right so this yearning this craving for the past denotes the craving of bob's wish to regain the innocence which he has lost back then he was very innocent right now he is not at all innocent why is that so it's because of his criminal background that is also something that is explained as part of background so for your tee it would be great if you could have an understanding regarding the background as well as the prose style okay there could be a question on the prose style of o henry we'll discuss that first and thereafter i'll let you know how to answer if such a question comes for your tee so what do you mean by the prose style prose is the written language that follows the natural flow of speech we can say that it is used in both fiction and non fiction 
One interesting aspect that you need to remember is that it differs from person to person. The way a writer writes would differ, would differ from another writer. Suppose Tina. Let's assume that she is a writer. The way Tina writes would totally be different from the way Gayatri writes. Or it would be entirely different from the way Ajay writes. Okay. So I was explaining this as if an example within the context of you all being writers. Alright. Now moving back to the story. This very title of the story is also very significant. After 20 years. There is constant emphasis on this 20 years gap, right? So the nostalgic yearning which we referred in the previous section of background is indicated by the repetition of this term 20 years. What happened after 20 years? We can say that many things changed. Jimmy became a police officer while Bob became a criminal. Apart from these people, the setting also changed. Big Joe restaurant is no more. Instead, there is another shop there. But there is one thing that is very consistent. One thing has not changed. What is that? The friendship. Even if they weren't in touch for 20 years, they are still friends and they have this genuine affection for each other. Here lies the significance of the title after 20 years. So there could be a question on the significance of the title after 20 years also. If they ask you this question, you need to firstly give a brief introduction. This is O. Henry's short story and that there are certain characteristic features of O. Henry which are visible in the discussed short story also. Then you need to mention the basic plot that these two were friends and they promised to have a meeting 20 years later at the same place same time but then 20 years in 20 years many things have changed he has become a police officer the other person has become a criminal big joe restaurant is no more but the friendship stays and hence this title is of immense importance you can answer with these points as the major points and you also can add on to it with substantiation if required okay further in the discussion of plot we discussed that this is based on action right so if you have a close look at the textbook we can find that there are certain words and expressions which denote action and these words and expressions are used to indicate the quick pace that the story takes on so if you have a look at page number 115 of your official igno study material you can see the examples. The policeman walked up to him. There is action. The policeman twirled his club and took a step or two. There is action. The policeman on the beat move up. There is action. Okay. Yet another interesting aspect is the use of literary devices in this story. One prominent literary device is the use of irony. We have already discussed irony when we discussed the other Topics as part of PGC 105. If you were not able to attend those sessions, please find the videos as part of the playlist titled PGC 105. We have discussed the Scarlet Letter, All My Sons, because I could not stop for that, short stories, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, and many others. Alright? Yes. Coming back to the use of irony, uh, we studied that in the lights at a drugstore, Bob comes to know that the tall man is not Jimmy, but an impersonator, right? So this revelation, this sudden shock, ironically leads to a bigger revelation. What is that? We come to know about the true identity of Bob. What is the true identity? Yes, correct. That he is a criminal. Very good. Before that, we knew Bob just as a friend of Jimmy. There is another instance that is Bob comes to meet his friend from a thousand miles away after 20 years. So ironically, the same friend becomes responsible for his arrest. 
that is also yet another aspect of irony so remember uh, as part of check your progress also they have asked you this question write briefly on the prose style of o henry as reflected in after 20 years so i already let you know how to formulate your answers right so if they ask you such a question a brief introduction would do and then you can straight away move on to the question what exactly is asked in the question you can write about that and one line of summarization or a brief conclusion would also be wonderful so that sums up this particular short story titled after 20 years by o henry so in this particular story we discussed the life and works of o henry later we had a look at the text and we discussed the plot as a whole thereafter we had a look into the two main characters who are they jimmy wells and bob thereafter we focused our attention towards the background of the short story the atmosphere of the short story and finally the prose style so in short we can say that after 20 years by o henry is a poignant story which contains a lot of suspense remember that o henry this american short story writer is well renowned for his use of suspense especially towards the end of the story who are the major characters here jimmy and bob remember there is a minor character that long man in coat finally he is identified to be a policeman and the story is delineated through description dialogue and incident that's all i suppose i have explained it were you able to follow me did you understand the story if there comes this question for the examination will you be able to write i'm very sure that you will be able to write yes thank you for your response remember i would like to quickly remind you that there is this text provided on page number 110 110 110 so remember it's just 2.5 pages it will be very easy for you to read so the advantage of reading the text is that if you refer to the study material or if you may refer to any other sources then it will be limited information that is provided to you so if you read the text yourself you will be able to have a better understanding remember to listen to my lecture also and that will help you have a better idea regarding this particular short story it would be ideal if you could make you know quick notes on the characters like you should be of the idea that if it is bob you should be able to identify that oh he is from o henry's short story so it might be confusing as you have many short stories and many other novels and drama to study so it depends on the learner if you feel that you can remember fine and good but for the majority of the learners it would be tough so try to find some technique that you may able to follow the technique that nasima would follow would be different from the technique that joys would follow and it would be acceptable to me because it depends on person to person the way i find it easier might not be the easy way for ajay or anybody who has joined the session so find the way in which you will be able to remember things remember or none of us are robots it's not easy for us constant revision is needed you have just limited number of days so smart work matters try to prepare effectively for your tee best wishes thank you for joining me for this session we'll meet again soon